What's up everyone, Sag here, playing some more Marvel Snap today, and the deck that I'm bringing you is APOC Discard. So, you actually unlock most of this deck at the beginning in Pool 1, however the deck feels, I'll say, really, really bad. And even in Pool 2, you unlock a couple more cards like uh, Morbius uh, and Swarm, but the deck doesn't really get that much better. And even in Pool 3 right now, the only reason I'm playing it is because of this card, Colleen Wing. So, the main premise behind uh, this discard deck is using stuff like Colleen Wing to discard uh, Swarm and Wolverine. Wolverine gets put onto the field, Swarm actually comes back to your hand as a zero cost, but you get two of them. So you have two zero energy three power cards pretty neat um so that works out pretty well and of course like even if you discard more with like blade or sword master you just keep getting more zero cost swarms at first i was using uh nakia in the deck to actually make swarm have plus two more power but it just it didn't really feel that good um and then the other big combo that you have is with lady sif and apoc they work extremely well together because Lady Sif discards your highest cost card, which is APOC. So basically Colleen Wing, but the opposite. So these two work really nice together, and it's actually Morbin time. So I like using Morbius in the deck. It's not that good, but with the combination of Blade, Colleen, Lady Sif, and Swordmaster, we actually get four discards. Um, and then that means this is effectively a to cost eight power which is pretty good and then of course we just uh, have other decent good stuff in here nightcrawler claw is nice for positioning shang chi is good to of course blow up big units which shang chi can just win you games outright you don't even have to play apoc and then american chavez so you're more likely to actually draw the stuff you need so uh, i feel like i explained that for way too long let's just jump into this But yeah, even after making it into pool 3, the cards just still don't seem good enough. If you want to climb, play move, play um, Devil Soar, play literally anything else with Shang-Chi in it. <laughs> this, this deck just isn't that strong. Oh my god, what the hell are we playing into already? We kind of have to play Morbius. Morbius is super cool, though. It's Morbin time. I wonder how many times I'm going to say that. I say it a lot. I've seen the Morbius movie. Um, I thought he actually said it's Morbin time in the movie, and uh, I was wrong. He does not. He doesn't say it a single time. I was honestly quite shocked. Yeah, we just Swordmaster here, straight up. Probably here. And hopefully it hits Apoc. Um, the, the biggest problem with this deck now, it would actually be good if you could choose some cards that you discard. Like, yes, I know Colleen Wing says lowest and Sif says highest. So like you could sort of pick which, which ones you want, but you know, it doesn't work out all the time. And so the inconsistency of the deck is the worst part of it by far. You want decks that are consistent, and this has so many random factors of, like, what cards you're even going to keep in your hand. You don't even fucking know. I guess let's just play this here. I think we lose. Because, like, what, what do I do? I, I claw here. I mean, at least he's not playing. It looks like he's playing a move deck, so maybe he's worse off than I am. Move really likes their open space. If he was playing Zoo, this game would have been over. Yeah, he's taking a lot of time to decide. Let me uh, emote him. There we go. Vulture. I've been playing against a lot of move players who who don't even play Heimdall. Kind of weird. Let's claw. Can't really play anything because then I know where he has to play Heimdall. I have a feeling that he 
loses these two locations. Okay. Wait, that's really weird. Because now even if he plays anything, don't I just win? Because I give up this location. We go here to win this one. He flips first. I, th I think I just Chavez though, right? There's no way he beats me, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, his Heimdall does nothing. As expected. I've gotten very used to playing against Heimdall decks. I've played so much of it now. I actually really, really like Heimdall. I think he's my fa one of my favorite cards, for sure. Heimdall, multiple man, my favorite cards. So... They kind of go hand in hand together too. I like just throwing Heimdall into decks. Because no one ever expects you to play Heimdall, right? Who would play Heimdall in like some weird ass deck? Exactly. Me. That's who. Armitage. Armitage. I don't want to play Blade there. Ugh, I don't really want to play Blade at all. Sometimes Blade is just really bad. I think I'll play Swordmaster in the middle, maybe. Yeah, it's probably good enough. Because I've, I've got good odds to hit at least one of those. Oh, of course. Oh, I bet it hits Blade. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I swear. And that, that's, why, that's why you just can't... I mean, you can climb with the deck. You just have to be very careful on when to snap, when to retreat. And that's that's what hopefully I'm going to show you today. I've been playing with the deck actually quite extensively. So, definitely these two here. This is actually good because now we, we're guarantee swarm. Oh, we could have bladed in the middle, actually. Eh, we don't need that many swarms. Looks like he's playing a Devil Sword deck, though. I see Sentinel. I don't see Sentinel played in a lot of decks other than Devil Soar, so. Yeah, he's definitely playing Devil Soar. Um, I mean I could Sif. We could just get a lot of swarms. I can do this, so at least this one gets a little bit of statage. Oh, he didn't play it. Super cool there. I, I really like this effect. I wish I had more. Um, actually, Nokia would have been really, really nice. He's not even going to play Killmonger. Okay. Oh, that's why. So he opens up that spot again. I see. I see. And we get Chavez. See, that's really nice. So we get Chavez here. Three swarms. Um... I have a feeling that we're going to lose Stark Tower, but I think we play two swarms there because we'll be one over, and if that is not the case, then I, I think we we do this. This is probably like, I actually think we're pretty confident here, right? I don't think he can try to win all spots. Having so many zero-cost swarms actually worked out really well. If we would have had APOC, though, we would have had a ginormous APOC with Sif on Karmatage. He doesn't, so he opts not to play Devil Sword. What does he play? Um, He's just going to slightly beat me at every point, isn't he? Oh, he didn't. He's off by one. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I think I had to play like this. If I would have played... um. Swarm here, I lose, right? Because these would have tied. Oh, no, no, I would have had four. Never mind. So I would have won. I had I had wiggle room. It's definitely a lot more straightforward. It's not a complicated deck at all. Just play cards. Try to discard things in your hand that actually work with discarding. It, actually play the cards from your hand. <laughs> oh, he's playing one. Oh, weird. I don't play Angela in my deck. I play Morbius. 
is clearly Morbius is much better. It's Morbin time. Falcon? What is this? Return a one cost card to your hand. That kind of sucks. That sucks a lot. Uh, we Morb. I'm going to Morb all over the place. I like Morbius though. I think it's a pretty decent card. And it could be interesting if I like ran Onslaught. Oh, look at that. We get cards in Sanc Sanctorum Sanctum. We Swordmaster for sure. Um, actually, we Swordmaster here. I have a feeling Morbius will be enough for us. Oh, he's running Human Torch. I want Human Torch. That's a pull three card for my move deck. I think it'd be interesting in it. Um. Shit, what do we do now? Falcon seems really bad. I don't want to return Nightcrawler to my hand. I just don't. I guess I'm just going to put him there. I kind of want to really secure it, so... Do this. He's running Nakia. I mean, he already played his Swarm, so he is playing a, a variant of this that uses Nakia with Swarm. It's honestly, like, it works out okay, but it's it's not as strong as you would like it to be. I don't think any variation of this deck is as strong as you would like it to be. Um, I think... No, we, we do this because he's going to have to play something here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make him play something there. And then we APOC in the middle, I believe. Bishop. Psy. Oh, wait, what? He just gave himself one more energy. Interesting. Where does he play? I have a feeling he plays in the middle. I think I'm just going to play Chavez here. I think I snapped, too. I don't think he beats me. Like, what does he play? He hasn't played his APOC. He probably runs Chavez. Exactly. How did his APOC have two more power? Oh, from Nakia. Duh. Dude, we're actually... Okay. I I made the deck sound like absolute shit, but we are absolutely crushing it in Platinum right now. I don't think we've lost a game yet, which is very unlike me, especially with, like, we, we aren't even getting, like, god hands or anything. Like, I don't think any, other than the Swarm game, the Swarm game was actually, like, a really good example of how the deck could play out. Wakanda. Oh, Colleen, Colleen. No. No, because I play Sif next turn. Oh, well, he's just going to move that. Damn it. This is actually horrible for me, because now... What is this? At, at Italian. <laughs> Italian's gonna put all my cards back into my deck, and I only get to draw three? Fucking buns. Oh, cool, I got him back. Oh, and Swarm's here. Thank you. It's actually looking pretty good. And Morbius? Wow. Wow. Okay, um... I think we give up on this one. I don't like that he... He put Cosmo there. Cosmo pisses me off. Cosmo and Wanda. Whoa! Giganto, I've never seen that before. I want to know what that does. Damn it, I was hoping it hit Swarm. Hmm. I think we do this again. No, we do this. Hulkbuster. So we know he doesn't have his Giganto, whatever that means. What's his other one? Play his own swarm. I 
All right, so clearly we play APOC somewhere. And I think we play it here. Right? There's no way he expects me to play it there. The only thing I'm worried about is he's got two things in his hand. I feel like he could easily get something over 12. But maybe he doesn't. Maybe he ties at 12. APOC would be enough to win over the tie. He's going to snap on me. No way he beats me, right? I am I think I'm gigabraining him here. He's not going to play anything here. I've given up on that spot. Ghost Rider. Oh, he gives back Giganto. I, okay, well, I have never experienced something like this before. I didn't realize this was something. You can only play this at the left location. Oh. So I'm going to start running into people playing Ghost Rider. This is a really cool card that is actually very much needed for the deck. Very, very much so. So we are still missing that. Yeah, I, I, I was never calling that play. I didn't think he had um, 17 power. That he could just produce out of his ass cheeks. But now I know. Now I know. Imagine if I would have Shang-Chi'd him. <laughs> and one. Uh, oh, dude, Blade again. Blade's so bad here. That's a classic Nightcrawler. This Nightcrawler hasn't even been upgraded. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I think that's a retreat. I immediately lose this location. No point in playing that out. He literally only has to focus on one other one. I guess he doesn't know that, but he'll find out pretty fucking quick. I need... If I draw Colleen here, that would be really nice because it would be either one. Oh, my poor Chavez. Yandu always gets Chavez, unfortunately. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Colleen. Okay, now we need Colleen to hit Wolverine and Wolverine to land on Sanctum. Sanctorum. Fuck. And now they're twos. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. I mean, zero cost two powers are still pretty good cards, if you think about it. <laughs> they're zero. They're zero, dude. They cost zero. I can't really complain that much. Okay, hit a swarm, please. Do it for Poppy. Play my last two swarm here. Not bad. Good Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi actually will probably work here. I don't think we'll APOC. Enchantress does nothing for you, boyo. Oh, Claw here is amazing. Don't beat me. Bob, gob, no, no, he's hobbing on my gob. That's unfortunate. He flips first. M Nightcrawler here. I guess I kind of move Nightcrawler here anyways, because I need space. And I can do Shang-Chi here. I don't even know if that's a good play to Shang-Chi there. Is the play to APOC? Does he play two things here? You know, I think he might play two things here. I think we do this. We Shang-Chi because that, that'll be 7-9. I think he plays two things here. He does.
What? I, I don't even know if that'll be enough to beat him, though, at this point. Is Shang-Chi even enough? No. Shang-Chi <laughs> wasn't even enough because of his damn fucking hobgoblin. Oh my god. No, I don't think anything was enough. I wanted to play it out, though. I was thinking maybe he didn't have a big drop. Okay. That's cool, thanks. Respect. Oh, Blade. Oh my god, no. I want to play Morbius first. I want to Morb. I don't win games when I don't Morb. Damn, dude, I would love to play Morb in the middle. Let's Morb in the middle. Let's fucking Morb all over the place. It truly is Morbin time. Still can't believe he didn't say it in the movie. Fucking cop out. That's the only reason I watched the movie. It's a very interesting tale that we're about to witness here. Okay, so, no cards are revealed this turn. That's actually pretty good, so I think we blade Colleen, they don't get revealed, and then next turn, we could play Swordmaster, Maybe, hopefully we draw Apoc, that'd be one and six. Another bar sinister? What the fuck am I looking at? We do this. What what am I looking at here? Wait, is this Oh god, I hope this doesn't do that. That's crazy. Double bar sinister. Have have not seen that in a while. Ebony Maw. Oh you bitch. Okay, that's actually the best one. Nice. Oh no, it did do that. Not nice. Not nice at all. And it's just gonna give me a bunch of swarms that I can't do anything with. And then I can't draw anything either. Oh my god. I mean, the middle one is gonna be big. <laughs> no, stop. Stop. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I have to play one, so I at least draw something. Blue Marvel. Great. Fucking great. Hmm. Well, I'm about to see if I can win or not. We definitely morbed all over the place, but I don't think that we were able to win. I can't believe Blade worked like that. I can't win, can I? There's no way. No. That was a funny game, but also sad. It was a big waste of time. I can't believe they'd waste my time like that. My precious platinum time. I think we'll be able to hit Vibranium before the season ends. At the rate that I'm climbing. And the god that I am. As long as I don't play Heimdall into nowhere. We're good. Solid. So Central Park and the other squirrel locations kind of fuck up this deck. Because you, you want a lot of space. Damn, the only game that we get double bar sinister to, we're playing something that can't really use it. Got a sunspot? Okay. Let me see it. Um, yeah, we definitely play. I think we, we move these over, actually. I want to get my stats up. 
Oh, cloning that. I like that. It looks like he's playing Devil Soar. Definitely playing Devil Soar. Oh, Shang Chi, you're gonna come in handy, aren't you? Aren't you, my sweet little baby boy? Uh, we'll just sift over here. I'm gonna make him think that I'm gonna play Apoc, and then I don't, and just play Shang Chi. Probably Claw, too. Claw in the middle, maybe? What are you playing over there? Okay, yeah, you're gonna take my Apoc. Well, at least he took my smaller Apoc. I have a bigger one. I got a bigger one now, dude. I didn't need your shit. Um, we Claw in the middle, I think. Most definitely. Actually, Clawing in the middle? I guess, yeah, because we give six power here. I think we're the closest to winning over here as opposed to here. Is he playing Infinite? There's no way. Man wouldn't play Infinite. My Nightcrawler! Oh, fuck. We discarded a few cards, so Morbius is at least... Yeah, it's a four, so it's better than Swarm. Why do I feel like he's going to play something on Cloning Bats? Well, we Shang-Chi here. He flips first. Yeah, we Shang-Chi there. If he plays something on Baxter Building, he's going to get three. So I think I play Morbius here. I'm going to snap two. I'm, I'm confident. I'm going to tell him I'm confident. I am confident. Is he going to play something here? He gets plus three, which will not be enough for my four Morbius. Oh my god, I'm a fucking fool. <laughs> Fuck. He didn't believe me. He didn't fucking believe me. God damn it. God fucking damn it, dude. I think he won either way. Even if he, Even if we tied there. It, it came down to a 50-50, and he called my bluff. I was still confident. You never really know where to put your last guy, though. Right, I mean, we knew he was playing Devil Soar. Just a matter of where he was playing it. thought he was going to play it on Baxter Building, though. Just made sense me in my mind. He snapped early. He's out for blood. Also playing Devil Soar. The peak. Oh, dude, that's so bad for me, isn't it? Oh, just get it over with, Blade. Get it fucking over with. Please hit Swarm, actually. Swarm is the best. Swarm or... Swordmaster. If we got a 50-50 here for something good. And you know, as long as it isn't Claw, that is it. If it's Claw, I'm retreating. That's it. I'm, I've made up my fucking mind. Okay, good. At least there's zero now. Oh my god, and he got, <laughs> he got a three mana devil. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Why me? Oh, dude, that voice crack. Why fucking me? Guess we won't play it yet. Oh, God. Forge. One cost forge. For Killmonger. Oh. I think I might have to do the, the good old retreat. Oh, we got Shang-Chi, though. He's never going to expect Shang-Chi. He'll never expect. We don't need to put anything there. Do it here, then. I could play one. Make him scared.
Oh, Mr. Fantastic. Okay. So, first, I'm going to tell him I'm confident. Then, I'm going to snap. Then, he's going to piss and shit his pants. Shang-Chi, we win here. There's no way in hell he plays anything in the middle, first of all. And then we play two things here. Because if he plays something here and beats out Claw, then we win here and here. He plays something here, we beat that. Guaranteed. It, it has to be guaranteed here. What does he do? What does he do? He plays armor here, protects himself. God, don't do it to me. Okay, that would have been real awkward if he played armor there. So we lose here, but we're going to win on these two. Easy fucking money. The calculations. He was close though, actually. He was a little, a little uh, close for comfort. What? Maybe later. Why you? Why you tell me that right now? All right, I'm probably gonna play a couple more games. I would say that we have been showing off the deck pretty nicely, as opposed to other other ones this one's just very straightforward like i said there's not a whole lot of thinking you ex you you get rid of a lot of your cards too so you only get to really play with half of them unless you discard apoc every chance you get you give me a two yeah i know you want to give me a two right that's uh not the two that i wanted we're not going to do it i think it's better not to play swarm it's better to try to get it to zero and play it on turn six I guess that's a, that's a thing that you can think about for a second. We got Colleen, but we can Sif this turn. Ooh. Oh, he has Moon Knight. I want Moon Knight. Moon Knight is a, is a good card for the deck, too. There's a lot of good discard in Pool 3. So, that's why, like, um, it's, the deck has already gotten infinitely better with the addition of Colleen. And we're going to Nightcrawler Colleen, I believe. Like this. Good, give me the zero costs. Oh, this is really nice. So I want to win on these two locations. So we're going to do... Oh, okay. I guess my my discarding was a bit better. Yeah, my, I curved out a bit a bit harder than him. Well, I said the deck wasn't that good, but honestly, it's pretty good. Um, what if you were in pool two at least? You would use something other than Colleen. I don't know exactly what you'd want to use. This is a sixty percent chance of being something good. That's the only time you can play Blade. I think is when you have like a 100% chance or 66% chance. But what would you take out for Colleen? Probably another two. I don't know what, what two exactly. We are actually going to play Swarm. I want to. Um, I mean, you probably wouldn't play Angela. I don't know what you would play. You tell me what you would play. Pool one and two only. I feel like another two would be the way. Oh, a storm. I literally have nothing to play this turn. And Colleen is horrible. I shouldn't have played Swarm. <laughs> Not gonna play anything. I probably give up. Storm is one of my favorite cards, too. I like to use Storm in a lot of decks. Not this one, though. It doesn't really feel like it belongs, you know? Did I intern? Come on, come on. Work with me. Do it, do it. I'm going to retreat. 
I'm getting very close to retreating. Okay. Get a lot of things. Interesting. Okay, well, I definitely don't want this location anymore. You can have it, bud. Oh, wait a second. That's weird. That's, that's, um, that's weird. He didn't think about that, did he? He didn't think about that. <laughs> oh my god. He did not think about that one, did he? Oh, that was really funny. That was really funny. Maybe we'll play one more, and then I'll probably call it there. The deck is performing quite well, though. Especially with me piloting it. Because normally that's that's where things go wrong. It's the pilot. Oh, weird world. I don't want a weird world with you. I really don't. I hate we weird world. I might just retreat. Hmm. We're going to call in and hope we get rid of Swordmaster. Actually, I can just call in here. Fuck it. It's actually great. Now that I think about it. You're just pulling something from your own deck, aren't you? Man, man tits. I think we morph. I, I want to see what he has in his hand. Maybe one of my cards. Moon girl. Interesting. Well, I didn't get that. Why would you snap? Don't do that. You don't want to snap. Uh, I'll play this here. Why not? We hit his own moon girl. What are you playing? Oh. But I like claw here. Oh, yeah, I like claw in the middle a lot, actually. Maybe we'll uh, electro last turn. Devil sword, good. I was never, I was never playing anything over there. You played yourself. We both have American Chavez. Interesting. Um, I think another claw here is better. Another claw, Electra. I don't think I'm gonna snap. Wait a second. Do I beat a Devil Sword in the middle? I don't know. I actually don't know. We're not gonna snap. Devil Sword's there. Oh, that's not enough with double. Double, what's it? Hit. Yeah, 15. Devil Sword is so strong. So he had Devil Sword and Moon Girl in his hand? Or did he get that off a of cable? We were actually pretty close, all things considered. No, I have to play another one. I fucking hate Weird World. I would have been better off just playing my own deck. The Raft. Oh, God. Here, Here's to us. Fucking trying to get the raft as fast as possible. I need my zero cost cards, please. Of course, we both Nightcrawler. I'm very close to getting Nightcrawler to my, my first infinity card. I think I could do that one. No, I think that's it, actually. Oh, come on. He's going to raft before me. Oh, God, he has one costs. Oh, now you pull me, Colleen. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is this guy playing? He's Bishop, Swordmaster, Ant-Man, Nightcrawler. Oh, wow, we actually get it. That's Pog. Yeah, I'm Shang-Chi. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to. You can't play anything there, right? You, you've got four cards in your hand. He actually gives up on it? What the hell? We got Destroyer? Destroy your other cards, Pog? <laughs> I didn't think about... No. 
No, no, Colleen. Gets rid of it immediately. Oh my god, it doesn't get rid of Shang-Chi. Are you fucking me? Do we keep playing? <laughs> do, do we keep playing? I don't know. I don't know. I like how his negative two beats my negative three. God, this is awful. <laughs> this... <laughs> oh my god. Well, neither of us got it. Oh, the music went muffled. So he has APOC. Good to know. Who flips first? I flip first. That's bad. That is bad for me. Well, I can win this spot. So it comes down to a 50-50 once again. About which spot. I mean, he could just not play APOC. If that's the case, we play there and do this. I'm not, I'm not going to snap. Like, I'm just going to play it out. I don't think Destroy was actually that good either. Because, like, what, what, what would I have done with Destroyer? I guess I could have played Destroyer and then played cards. Oh, in turn, please. Oh, look at that. We beat him. <laughs> even, after, even after that, I'm glad I didn't retreat. That would have been embarrassing. As long as he didn't get one, you know, that's what it's all about. Okay, why does this sound muffled? Here we go. Let's play one more. <laughs> I know I said I'd, uh, I'd only play one more, but uh, one more, one more. I mean, we're in platinum too, like, we're doing pretty well. We haven't gotten, like, many 8-cube games. It, it They seem pretty... Um, I don't even know, I don't know what I was going to say. They seem pretty straightforward. I mean, I've been saying that all. Dude, I, I love, oh, dude, look at that. I want this. Give me that. You're snapping? Dude, why do you hate me? No cards are revealed this turn? Don't fucking do this to me. I swear to God, if I draw my only other one. Oh, don't do this to me. I guess I can just play it. Okay, good. We play Morbius. Easy Morb. Okay, good. Good. And now we have a big chance to hit it with Swordmaster. Blade as well. Hmm. I don't know about that. I mean, we can risk it. I do love a good old risk. I mean, 66% chance both times. Fog, and now we get a... It's higher, 75%. Ooh, beautiful. And now Crimson Cosmos hits here in the middle. Fuck. Okay, we can at least play Claw here. Okay, claw there is kind of weird, right? We're already pretty strong in the middle. Oh, but I don't want to play... I, I really don't want to play Claw there. Because I might play Chavez here, maybe. Craven, Doctor Strange. Ooh. Ooh, he's going to play Heimdall. Well, that means he would miss out everything over here. If he plays Heimdall. Uh, and that means he can't win on the left here. So, I mean, I, I Chavez. I think I snap, too. I mean, he just loses. He's a fool, dude. You're a fool. This is 12. Even if he plays Heimdall here. Two, three. No, dude. You're, you, <laughs> that's what I thought. That's what I fucking thought. I had a bunch of free swarms. You think you're going to fight me? All right, well, ending off in 52, I'll take it. The deck? I mean, not half bad. I think Colleen really puts it together. Um, and then a lot of other pool three cards are going to be really, really good in it. Like, for example, 
Uh, we saw the Giganto and what was it, Ghost Rider? I cannot wait to get that. That's going to be amazing. But that'll be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy. And you know what? Have a wonderful day.